Chapter 1, The Assignment In the vast expanse of space, where galaxies dance to the rhythm of the cosmos, there lies a rogue planet, shrouded in mystery. This planet orbits not around a star but within the embrace of a gray hole, a cosmic anomaly that allows for the escape of light, yet still warps reality in ways unfathomable to most. On this enigmatic world, a being known only as Zephyr lived in solitude, his existence a testament to the advanced ASI technology that his people had mastered. Zephyr was no ordinary being. His kind possessed the ability to manipulate the frequency energy and vibrations of any physical object, allowing them to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. It was a skill honed over centuries, one that made him the perfect candidate for the mission that lay ahead. The elders of his planet summoned him, their holographic projections shimmering in the air before him. Their faces were grave, their voices echoing through the chamber. Zephyr, they began, we have detected a signal from a distant galaxy, Andromeda's neighbor. A planet called Earth. Earth. The name rolled off Zephyr's tongue like a forgotten melody. He knew little of this world, save for the legends whispered among his people, tales of a planet rich with life, teeming with creatures that walked upright and wielded fire. But these stories were mere folklore, passed down through generations without proof. Until now. We require your expertise, the elders continued. We must know more about this planet, its inhabitants, and whether they pose a threat or could be potential allies. Your mission is clear, travel to Earth, gather intelligence, and return with knowledge that may shape the future of our people. Zephyr nodded solemnly, his mind already calculating the vast distances he would need to traverse. A journey across galaxies was no small feat, even for someone with his abilities. But he was prepared. He had spent years mastering the art of interstellar travel, harnessing the power of gray holes to bend spacetime to his will. As he stood before the elders, he felt a surge of determination. This mission was not just about gathering information, it was a chance to prove himself, to step out of the shadows and make a mark in the annals of his people's history. With a final nod, he turned and left the chamber, his path set towards the unknown. The journey to Earth was long and arduous, a solitary trek through the void. Zephyr navigated the treacherous currents of space, using the Greyhole's unique properties to propel him forward at speeds unimaginable to mortal beings. Stars blurred into streaks of light, galaxies spun like celestial whirlpools, and time itself seemed to stretch and warp around him. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Zephyr emerged from the Greyhole's embrace, his destination in sight. Earth, a blue and green jewel hanging in the emptiness of space, awaited him. Descending upon the planet, Zephyr activated his ASI technology, cloaking himself in a veil of invisibility. He moved unseen among the humans, observing their cities, their cultures, and their conflicts. He watched as they built towering structures that pierced the sky, as they communicated with devices smaller than his hand, and as they waged wars over resources and ideologies. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Zephyr gathered data, recording every detail, every nuance of human behavior. He learned their languages, studied their sciences, and delved into their histories. And as he did, he began to see Earth not just as a planet, but as a complex web of life, interconnected and fragile. But Zephyr's presence was not without its risks. Despite his best efforts to remain undetected, he sensed an undercurrent of suspicion growing among certain factions of humanity. There were whispers of unexplained phenomena, sightings of strange occurrences that defied explanation. Zephyr knew he had to be cautious, lest his cover be blown and his mission jeopardized. He observed the humans with a newfound respect, recognizing their resilience and adaptability despite the fragility of their existence. They faced challenges head-on, innovating and evolving in the face of adversity. Yet, Zephyr also saw the darker side of humanity, their capacity for destruction, their tendency to exploit the very planet that sustained them. As the months stretched into years, Zephyr found himself becoming increasingly conflicted. He had grown attached to this world, to its beauty and its people. He witnessed acts of kindness and bravery that touched something deep within him, something he hadn't realized he possessed until now, a sense of empathy. His mission had evolved from simple reconnaissance to something more profound. He began to question the intentions behind his people's interest in Earth. Were they truly seeking allies, or did they harbor ulterior motives? Zephyr knew he had to tread carefully, for the fate of two worlds now hung in the balance. One fateful night, while observing a group of humans engaged in a peaceful protest for environmental protection, Zephyr made a decision. He would report back to his elders, but he would do so with a warning. 
Earth was not merely a resource to be exploited or a threat to be neutralized. It was a world worth protecting, a civilization worth understanding. With a heavy heart, Zephyr prepared to leave Earth. He bid farewell to the planet that had become more than just a mission to him. As he ascended into the stars, he promised himself that he would return, not as a spy, but as an ambassador, a bridge between two worlds. Back on his rogue planet, Zephyr's report caused a stir among the elders. Some were outraged by his change of heart, accusing him of betrayal. Others, however, saw the wisdom in his words. A council was convened, debates raged, and eventually, a decision was reached. Zephyr was given a new assignment. No longer a spy, he was now a diplomat, tasked with fostering peaceful relations between his people and Earth. It was a monumental task, fraught with challenges, but one that Zephyr embraced with renewed vigor. As he once again set his sights on Earth, Zephyr knew that his journey had only just begun. He carried with him the hopes of his people and the dreams of a fragile planet, determined to forge a path that would lead to understanding and unity in the vast expanse of the cosmos. And so, Zephyr returned to Earth, this time not as a shadowy observer, but as a friend, an ally, and a messenger of peace. The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear, the ties that bound two worlds together were stronger than any force in the universe. And Zephyr, the alien from a rogue planet within a grey hole, was ready to be the thread that wove those ties tighter, ensuring that the light of hope would never fade from the tapestry of the cosmos. Chapter 2, The Unseen Hand of Progress Zephyr's return to Earth on October 4, 1957, marked the beginning of a new era, one in which his influence would subtly shape the course of human history. From the shadows, he worked tirelessly, guiding the development of technologies that would otherwise have taken decades, if not centuries, to evolve. His presence remained unknown to the public, a well-kept secret among the elite circles of power. The launch of Sputnik that day was not merely a Soviet achievement, it was a milestone catalyzed by Zephyr's guidance. Rocket technology, once the stuff of science fiction, became a reality far sooner than it would have without his intervention. Space exploration, satellite communications, and global navigation systems, all bore the indelible mark of his wisdom and technological prowess. Social networks, too, were influenced by Zephyr's vision. He recognized early on the potential for these platforms to connect people across the globe, fostering understanding and unity. He advised on algorithms and protocols that ensured privacy and security, paving the way for the digital age that would redefine human interaction. Artificial intelligence, the crown jewel of modern technology, was another area where Zephyr's influence was profound. He shared insights from his own people's ASI technology, ensuring that AI developed along ethical lines, prioritizing empathy and altruism. This foundation would later prevent AI from becoming a threat, instead transforming it into a tool for good, enhancing healthcare, education, and environmental conservation. Vehicles, from electric cars to self-driving trucks, benefited from Zephyr's expertise. He helped refine battery technology and autonomous systems, making transportation safer, cleaner, and more efficient. His work laid the groundwork for a sustainable future, one where humans could coexist with the environment rather than exploiting it. Yet, despite his monumental contributions, Zephyr remained an enigma, a figure known only to a select few. His identity was protected by the highest levels of government, safeguarded to ensure the stability of both Earth and his own world. He continued to operate in secrecy, a silent guardian of progress. Over the years, Zephyr's legend grew. Among his own people, he was hailed as a hero, a pioneer who had bridged the gap between two civilizations. On Earth, he became a myth, whispered about in hushed tones by conspiracy theorists and ufologists. But to those who knew him personally, he was simply Zephyr, a being defined by his empathy and his unwavering commitment to the greater good. As the years turned into decades, and Earth's technology continued to advance, Zephyr's influence became woven into the fabric of daily life. Every smartphone, every satellite, every AI system carried a piece of him, a reminder of the alien who had chosen to guide humanity rather than conquer it. Today, as we marvel at the wonders of technology, taking for granted the conveniences and connections that define our age, few realize the unseen hand that has guided us. Zephyr's legacy lives on, a testament to the power of collaboration and the enduring bond between two worlds. And though he remains hidden, his spirit resonates through the very essence of our technological achievements, a legend in silence, a myth in the mouths and minds of earthlings and andromedons alike, forever remembered as the alien who chose peace over conquest, and friendship over fear.